Good morning, good afternoon. I know it has been long since we had a class and uh, I want to welcome you. So I want to take uh, you through a practical session. Uh, this is based on uh, grade uh, 9, grade 8 or grade 7 students or even the student in senior school. And uh, the practical today uh, is meant to prepare those who are in grade 9 to sit for their KJSEA. And what I'll be using is, so I'll have uh, what we call solution A. Uh, let me give you a clue. Solution A will be uh, Woodash. Solution B, which will be uh, distilled water or pure water. Solution C, which will be uh, lemon juice. And solution D will be the orange juice. And then we are going to have the last one, solution E, which is going to be the toothpaste solution. But remember, as a student, no one is supposed to tell you this. So you are supposed to discover because... At the end of it all, we are supposed to test whether solution A all the way to, to E is either an acid, a base, or neutral. Uh, you know, and uh, we've covered that in class, and you already know which ones are basic, which ones are acidic, and uh, which ones are neutral. Again, in uh, acidic, we talk about the ones that are more acidic, depending on the pH uh, scale. Uh, when we talk about basic, again, we talk about which one are more basic than the others, uh, again, on the pH chart. So I'll be taking you through a short practical to test uh, whether these or all those solutions are acidic or basic or neutral. We are going to use phenolphthalein indicator we are also going to use Ritmas papers. We can use a blue uh, or a red Ritmas paper. So the prerequisite knowledge you should have is that uh, you should know when I'm using an acid, what happens to the red Ritmas paper. When I'm using uh, a base, what happens to the red or even blue Ritmas paper? if it is uh, dipped or used. When I'm using phenolphthalein, what is the observation I'm supposed to make? So I'll pick a test tube, add a little of solution A, and then I'm going to add a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator, which is colorless, using a dropper, and uh, shake a little bit. You'll notice that uh, the color will change to pink, meaning that is a basic solution, that is solution A. I'll pick a second uh, test tube, add a few drops of solution uh, D, uh, in my case that was uh, lemon juice, and then uh, I'll also notice that the color will not change, it will remain uh, colorless, meaning that is acidic solution. I'll pick another test tube and uh, this time I'll add a few of uh, solution B which is uh, colorless and add a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator and I'll again I'll notice that the color will remain uh, colorless meaning that is a neutral solution. I'll go to solution C which in my case is orange juice. And now I'm going to conduct the test using uh, a blue litmus paper. Once I do dip it, it will turn red, meaning that is an acidic solution. I'll go to, I can also use a red litmus paper. If I dip a red litmus paper on the same D, that is orange juice, it won't change the color, meaning again it is acidic. I'm remaining with the Solution E, I use a blue lit mass paper. The blue lit mass paper will indicate that this is a basic solution again. 
I'll have conducted uh, the test on uh, my four or five solutions and that is how we conduct the test and know that this has turned from blue to red meaning that is acidic if red remains it also says that is an acidic solution i hope you have enjoyed my lesson keep watching and thank you see you in the next video if you are new here make sure you subscribe and all the best as you prepare for your exam good evening